strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, because every day more revelations come out than would come out in a year when I first got on air 18 years ago. I mean, it is all just coming out in the open and really making so much of what I talk about passe. But it's not passe because people are now getting, whoa, this is real. And so some people are trying to rationalize in their mass Stockholm syndrome what's happening because of their learned helplessness. And because they don't believe they have any power while the rest of us are really going, man, how deep does the rabbit hole go? And I'm here to tell you, my consciousness and my limited cerebral focus cannot even image the hundreds of thousands of admitted tyrannies that I've researched and documented and others have documented, I can only focus in maybe on 50 at a time in my mind. Most people can't even focus in on one. And it is truly information overload. And when you know what's going on, you realize how naked the establishment is in their brazen, craven, sneakiness and deception. I mean, it, it is just naked. Let me just give you some of the headlines here that are coming up. FBI director admits domestic use of drones as if I need him to tell me about admitted programs. Now, is there an apology to Infowars.com, to DrudgeReport.com, when the White House run Media Matters and others ran with national stories, got picked up by the AP a few years ago saying we made it up and that there are no drones domestically, even though we had mainstream articles where it was happening around the country, they came out and said, we're liars, it's not true. Kind of like Rachel Maddow said that, I said Obama sent a tornado to Oklahoma City, and they're still running that every week, that lie, lying to their pathetic audience. They do have a pathetic audience, it's the pathetic nabob rubes begging to be enslaved by the ultra Hitlerian fascist of the New World Order. So here is uh, the article FBI director admits domestic use of drones uh, in front of Congress yesterday. Uh, Michael Hastings, the one that did a real investigative report that brought down McChrystal, uh, Rolling Stone contributor, dead at 33. He he died in a car wreck. <laughs> and, and there's some real car wrecks. You could believe that if it wasn't so many investigative journalists committing suicide or murder-suicide or falling out of buildings or getting hit by cars or anything else. So there's that article. Rolling Stone uh, reporting. Michael Hastings, Rolling Stone contributor, dead at 33. Uh, continuing uh, with some of the headlines, Ron Paul, dollar will collapse. Gold will go to infinity. And, and Ron Paul is joining us here about 25 minutes from now. So we're going to be asking him about that. That story just went live uh, up at Infowars.com. And he said that yesterday on CNBC. Ron Paul, dollar will collapse, gold will go to infinity. So those are some interesting, uh, interesting headlines. And then here's another one. This is out of Bloomberg. And it's reporting on a uh, Harvard uh, public health school long-term study. Uh, autism tied to air pollution, brain wiring, disconnection, and guess what they found it was? Mercury. But being government finance, they're going to say it's diesel fuel that's very low in mercury instead of what's in the food, in the water, and what's being injected in people. So I thought we'd uh, go over that as well. That's just some of what's coming up here today. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, there is unrest all over the world from Turkey to Brazil. 
against the big government and the police state. We're going to be breaking all of that down. The FBI director has admitted to Congress, which was already going on publicly, a uh, massive drone program going on, spying on the American people, but he whitewashes it and basically says that it is no big deal. We've got Congressman Ron Paul joining us in about 25 minutes from now. Uh, then we have the comedian Tom Mabe, who went out with a boom microphone and would stick it in the middle of people's public conversations. And when they got mad, he said, I'm the NSA. I mean, I'm already spying on you. Might as well just go public. He's going to be popping in with us. And then Janae Girard, one of the main plaintiffs who's been on before in the Supreme Court case over uh, patenting of genes via breast cancer uh, treatments. Uh, she's going to be in studio with us, and she's a survivor of that and one of the main plaintiffs. So that's some good news. We're going to be talking to her in the last 45 minutes of uh, the broadcast today or so. You know, I just can't get over uh, mainstream news headlines yesterday saying Congress to have hearings on your cable box watching and listening to you. Is it a good idea? It's already going on. So see, we've gone from, man, that's that crazy guy 15, 16 years ago to, oh, yeah, um, so we're watching you and listening to you. What's the big deal? I mean, it's, it's for your safety. And I've got some clips coming up in a moment uh, at the Miss USA uh, event with the winner promoting warrantless DNA taking and the other ones uh, being asked about NSA saying it makes them feel safe. Please listen to my phones. Such as South Africa. I mean, it is just absolutely over the top. And that's why they've dumbed everybody down. And guarantee these people have rod holes in their brains from the fluoride and the mercury. We're going to be going over all that. And when Ron Paul joins us, we're going to look at uh, dollar will collapse. That's, that's what he said on CNBC last night. He's joining us. He said gold will go to infinity. That's his quote. And beyond. To quote Buzz Lightyear, he didn't say that. He said, we'll go to infinity, uh, is the quote. But they're just going to slowly collapse the dollar from what I've seen. And they're doing it. I mean, inflation is just unbelievable, but you have deflation in wages. So it's hyper-stag inflation is what we're going towards. And they're now getting ready to blame Bernanke. You're seeing all the articles that he's the ultimate lame duck and uh, that, you know, there's the big drama. Will Obama... Uh, pump up, uh, you know, you know, give the orders to Bernanke to pump up the economy more with the fiat currency that still causes inflation, or will they slacken it? On and on and on. And even Obama and Bernanke are just puppets, very high-level puppets, but they're still just, still just gophers, still just puppets. But that Ron Paul video and that article that I think is extremely newsworthy is at the top of Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Ron Paul, dollar will collapse, gold will go to infinity. So that is uh, coming up when the congressman joins us. We'll get uh, more in-depth from him, the former congressman, Dr. Ron Paul, kind of the omnibudsman of the liberty movement. Let me, before I get into NSA stuff, there's a bunch of big developments there, cover this first out of Bloomberg. Now, again, the average person reads this and they think, oh, good, they're admitting it's, it's, it's toxicity in the environment. So, so that's, a, that's a good thing, uh, a lot of people think. But what they're doing at the UN and what we've caught the uh, EPA doing, testing on college students, is they're artificially pumping in 100, 200, 300, sometimes 1,000 times the particulates. It was a big case in North Carolina of this, secret testing into uh, the, the test subjects' workspaces to then get readings to say that all particulates out of a combustion engine is deadly poison, when most of what comes out now uh, is harmless. And again, I want to move away from these technologies. The problem is the globalists aren't going to let us do that. They're just going to tax the daylights out of it. So they're spinning all of this and saying it's only diesel engines, but you read the study, it doesn't even say that, that are causing us to go from 1 in 25,000 in the Western world in the last 60 years with autism to 1 in 50. And the article says that. It's now about 1 in 50. And it's not overdiagnosis, folks. The kids, that they don't even call autistic, autistic. I mean, you go to a restaurant, you go to a play, you go somewhere. The kids look like they're walking dead, most of them now. You can try to avoid these poisons all day and still your kids are going to have health problems. Because they're now second generation in all this. 
uh, children grew up with totally dirty coal plants putting pure poison into the air for the last 200 years, 170 or so. Uh, now they're completely clean with scrubbers, only carbon dioxide and water vapor comes out. They're trying to blame that now. They have dirty ones in Mexico and India and China, but not here. And, and, and I'm all for them being clean. Now they want to even tax the carbon dioxide to make all our industry move to China where it's dirty, where the globalists have their investments. But the point I'm getting at here is the particulate levels are much lower than it used to be. You can look at the studies. I mean, I've seen photos from the 30s and 40s and 50s in New York and Detroit and, and Tokyo where the skies were black with all the stuff coming out of the factories. And people had a lot of mental illness and a lot of madness and violence because of the mercury and the lead in the air. It is literally, you look at the studies, thousands of times lower than it used to be. So the claim that factory particula and car particula is causing this is boulder dash. You can look it up. I study this so much that I look at this study and I know it's bull. Now, they say the main thing is mercury in these kids' brains <laughs> and mercury in the mothers. Now, where do you think... You're getting mercury injected directly into your blood, and why does it hurt the boys? Why is it, what is it, a 15-fold, 16-fold in the U.S.? Boys ratio girls that are autistic. Girls have a thicker blood-brain barrier. Girls are tougher. Any doctor will tell you. A woman comes in with five gunshot wounds, she lives. A man gets it, he's dead. Men die seven years earlier on average than women. Men are physically stronger, but they're not as tough as women. It's a scientific fact known for thousands of years. The issue here, you chop a guy's arm off, most of the time he ends up dying if you didn't get a tourniquet on it. He goes into shock. Women can have limbs severed, and they'll just go sit down, and then they'll stop bleeding because they're designed to be able to have babies and go through a lot more trauma. But, but, but let's get into this article. Autism tied to air pollution, brain wiring disconnection. Researchers seeking the roots of autism have linked the disorder, there's thousands of studies on this, folks, to chemicals in air pollution, and in a separate study found that language difficulties of the disorder may be due to a disconnect in brain wiring. Researchers at Harvard's University Public School of health found that pregnant women exposed to high levels of diesel particulates, you know, they, they're doing it to them, on, uh, or mercury were twice as likely to have an autistic child compared with peers in low pollution areas. The findings published today in the Environmental Health Perspectives are from the largest U.S. study to examine the ties between air pollution and autism. One in 50 U.S. children are not diagnosed with autism or related disorder, and it goes on. It's soon going to be 1 in 15, then 1 in 5, and then soon half of us won't be able to tie our shoelaces. And then, of course, we'll have to euthanize everybody. That's why they're now announcing, hey, let's just euthanize the autistic kids. Hey, all the women are all getting breast cancer? Don't find out why. Just cut your breast off. This is how they're medicalizing everything. This is their admitted plan. Bertrand Russell, Club of Rome, go read it. 60 years ago, 80 years ago, 100 years ago, how they would toxify the environment, with binary weapons, they'll have the cure for themselves and then suck everything out of you with treatments that just kill you slowly. And then as soon as they've sucked your money out of you, they've got it all actuaried out what treatments to do to make sure that you get every bit of money out of you before you die. And that's why they have government health care telling the doctors what to do to carry that out. But if you're an insider, I mean, look at Dick Cheney. No one lives two years with a bionic heart pump. I mean, it, it's, he, he lived a record time. And then, then he gets somebody else's heart and looked great on Fox News this weekend. The guy's had like seven heart attacks. Poorly drink, you know, drinks two bottles of vodka a day. Stuff like that in the past. Why is he still going around? Because he gets the life extension, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get it. So I'm going to explain something to you. There's less particulate in our sky now. Actually, aluminum's up and everything else is down. Aluminum and barium because they're spraying that. But everything else is way down. Look it up. But they don't care, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to tell you it's that to blame it on that to wonder why everybody's becoming brain damaged. You take your kid in for the third round of shots, 18 months. That's the average. They have a convulsion on the spot. You better hope they do. The cops are going to say you shook their brain and try to take them from you. Uh, if they don't have the convulsion, you know, they're at the hospital and they'll still try to blame you there and look at cameras and say you beat them because there'll be blood on the brain from the autoimmune response in your boy. Just brain damage is your girl, but not as bad. You go into the third round. Most people you talk to that have autistic kids, it happens third round, sometimes second round. And, you know, they just can't handle it. 
They're giving them hundreds of times what an adult can handle, and they've lobotomized your child. Now they're saying it's mercury. Now what's in the vaccines? Thimerosal, mercury. Thimerosal, mercury. So here it is. And David Knight actually working uh, with a libertarian investigative think tank before he even moved down here from North Carolina uh, was helping investigate this, including undercover type stuff. We've broken it on the air about secret testing on people with 100 times to 1,000 times the particulate level that's safe to create these false readings. To, to again, blame particula, not to actually fix the environment here, to shut off our industry. So they're going to use, and we've already predicted this, all the brain damage to be is going to be blamed on the combustion engine. And I'm not saying it doesn't add to the poisoning. The GMO, the shots, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the pharmacological pesticides in the stuff, all of it is linked in rodent studies to autism. So uh, that's big news there. Also, urgent action alert. EPA about to raise allowable concentrations of glyphosate on food crops, edible oils, and animal feed. One part per trillion of that doubles your chances of uh, breast cancer. They're putting, in some cases, thousands of times higher in there. You like dying, you're going to enjoy this. We're going to come back, get into the whole NSA situation. Stay with us. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter, and in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. The Senate bill allows 46 million illegal immigrants inside the United States. That's the type of news we have. This is the plan to bankrupt this country. This is the plan to conquer this country via divide and conquer. Before I get into the whole NSA controversy, I want to play a short clip here via the Atlantic Wire from the House Intelligence Committee yesterday uh, when the NSA chief was talking to the deputy FBI director and said, tell your boss... NSA Director Keith Alexander told FBI Director, Deputy Director, I owe him another friggin' beer. Because obviously this is totally illegal, everything the NSA is doing. The FBI already has all the NSA stuff. They have the translators inside the NSA, like C. Bell Edmonds. They just want to be able to use it in court, but all jurisprudence says it's illegal. So they're all up there committing crimes, and it's a joke. Hey, I'm going to buy him another friggin' beer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play that clip. Here it is. Tell the boss. Good to see you. Tell the boss I owe him another freaking beer. Him. 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 I'm giving you me. All right. Give it to you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Tell the boss. Good to see you. Tell the boss I owe him another freaking beer. Him. Him. I'm giving you me. All right. Give it to you. So it's all funny to these criminals. They're all criminals up there. It's all a big joke to them. The government ships the drugs in and then hopes you use them to put you in a prison. Everybody just stop being so stupid. Stop being so naive. We're in a lot of trouble. Now, let's go to the next clip. This is an article by Kit Daniels that went up on Infowars.com last night if you want to go see it. Miss USA con uh, constituents... Contestants promote NSA spy grid. Yay, yay. Why then does every authoritarian state do this and the free countries not? 
did you ever not feel safe the government lady the government's the number one threat in history it killed 262 million people non-military deaths in the 20th century the government is the number one danger because corrupt special interests take it over and create hell on earth and by the way they're coached on how to answer they all answered like this Remember a few years ago, one of the contestants, they said lost because she said, I want liberty and I want national sovereignty and I don't want open borders. We had her on, Miss Oklahoma. And they said, oh, that's it. You were going to win, but not now. They have them all say, I want the UN to run everything. I think we should turn our guns in. I think the government should spy on me. I want to feel safe. Did you hear that? And I believe she was the winner. It's here in my article. If you're arrested, you've committed the crime. Did you hear her? And of course, they want your DNA so they can frame you. Th these crime labs are the centers of crime in America, on record. Look it up. They take you in for not wearing a uh, seatbelt now. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.